Just in case you were living under a rock, I want to share some bad news with you. The Google Analytics that you knew and loved for over 15 years is going away, and if you don't take action now, you'll lose all your data. And even if you do take action, the only way to keep your data moving forward is to install Google Analytics 4 before July 1, 2023. When faced with an ultimatum, you're probably wondering if it's worth the hassle to keep using Google Analytics or if it's time to start looking for alternatives. Well, I've gone through and analyzed 42 Google Analytics alternatives, and I'll be sharing my research with you here on my YouTube channel. The answer to the ultimate question of life the universe and everything is Forty-two. Yeah, we're talking 42 different tools here, which might actually be the answer to the meaning of life, but it's also the answer to your analytics problems. So if you want to get all the details, make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the bell so you'll be notified with each video as they come out. And if you're more into reading, you can access all my research at ddu.ai slash by GA. Now, when I started to research Google Analytics alternatives, I sparked an unexpected debate. What exactly is an alternative? Is it a tool with the exact same features as Google Analytics? What happens if features don't match Google Analytics? Is it still considered an alternative? Does it need to be an analytics tool to be an alternative or can it be any data marketing suite out there? Should we focus on matching the past or plan for a brighter future without GA? While these questions, they sparked a great debate with my industry friends, friends like Fred Pike and Ahmad Kanani, who helped me refine my definition of what is an alternative. And I decided to define alternative in a broad fashion. And this means that any tool can be an alternative to Google Analytics while also allowing us to rethink what we expect from Google Analytics in the first place. The debate also helped me understand why I've loved Universal Analytics so much and why it's such a tremendous loss for our industry to have to be forced to switch to GA4. And so, as we search for alternatives to Universal Google Analytics, I want to call out what Google Analytics did so well for so long. It was the one place that allowed you to have a complete view of your entire organization's relationship with web marketing data. And specifically, it had all the elements you need in an analytics tool, like the ability to document your business strategy, data collection, data storage, data processing and transformation, data exploration, data visualization, and access control. And the most amazing thing about GA is that it's all available in a free tool. And of course, any tool that's going to be a replacement to Google Universal Analytics has its work cut out for them. Now let's talk about how important these elements are to get right in any GA alternative. The first thing I want to talk about is business strategy. A Google Analytics alternative must be able to accommodate your business strategy and not the other way around. Haha, <laughs> good at business. Now, we all think we're good at business and a lot of businesses have varying strategies out there. Maybe we've bent Universal Analytics to fit to our strategy, but the key here is that whatever tool we choose, it should be used as a way to implement our business strategy, not the other way around, where we bend our business strategy to what we can measure online. I think that Universal Analytics was so easy that a lot of companies actually bent their business strategy to say, what data can we get from Google Analytics? They would give out reports saying, our bounce rate looks pretty good, or hey, we did pretty well in traffic sources, but they didn't really get far beyond that because they didn't really know where to get it. And so I think it actually became a crutch and a lot of people bent their strategy to Google Analytics, not the other way around. This is a prime opportunity as we evaluate alternatives to come up with something that's better for nearly every business out there. And so this is an important piece here. And also, not only that, but we wanna make sure that we are choosing tools as alternatives and we're ranking them based on how well you can bend them to your business strategy. And so that's one of the criteria we've used to make sure that we're doing well moving forward with choosing and giving you a list of alternatives. Next, we have data collection. Now, data collection is something where can you get data easily do you have to do a lot of work to collect data? And where is it going into your system? So is it a JavaScript tracking code? Is it something where you're getting server-side data or data collected from other sources? Or is it something that's coming right from the analytics tool? Now, an alternative that's going to be just like Universal Analytics is going to have its own data collection. But there are some tools out there that are pretty powerful that don't rely on any JavaScript collection at all. They collect the data for you and do the analysis. You'll find this is very common in SEO tools where they're collecting the data for you and it doesn't really matter whether you sign up for them or not, they know about your site and they can report to you right away. 
Okay, the next one is data storage. I'll store this motorcycle in that van for you for $10.99 a month. You got old tires, they charge you $3 for that old tire. You can rent a truck, you can store a car, they don't care, bring it on down here. Data storage is all about not just collecting the data, but storing it and having a way for you to retrieve it over time. Again, some of our specialty tools like SEO tools, they automatically are doing data collection and storage, they're doing that really well. But pretty much any tool that's out there, any data analytics tool out there has some kind of storage that you're gonna have. The only ones that really don't have storage are actually our business intelligence suites or our dashboarding tools because they're usually pulling in from another data source. They're not actually having data storage. And so that's what eliminates them from being at the top of my list of the most important tools, even though I do love data analysis tools like Data Studio, as well as some emerging ones and some other ones that are a little bit more costly that are in the marketplace as well. Next, we have data processing and transformation. Now this is really an important thing and going back to my conversation with Ahmad Kanani, he really helped me understand how important this is. Collecting raw data and storing it is one thing, but transforming it into a way that's usable and that you have standard reports that you can explore and the interface to be able to look around and, and see what's going on is really important. So the best tools out there are ones that take raw data and process it and transform it into something that's useful. So you can do the next one, which is data exploration. Now data exploration can be done by a human or a computer. A lot of companies have AI capabilities. Even Google Analytics had AI capabilities, but you know, it's gonna take some time for a useful AI to be built on top of other core elements. And so we are not quite in the era where data exploration can be done automatically by AI, but hopefully it's gonna get there soon. And you might wanna choose something that has an open system where the data that's collected can be easily analyzed and potentially run through AI to give you insights. And so that's a check in the win column for open systems, like both open source systems, as well as systems like Google Analytics 4, which right now gives you access to BigQuery to get your data out of it. Okay, the next one is data visualization. Obviously you knew somewhere inside yourself that you were destined to be famous because I think it's a really a marvelous thing, that visualization thing you did. Obviously data visualization is really important. And some of these BI tools that I mentioned earlier, Google Data Studio, Power BI, Tableau, Clipfolio. These ones are really good at visualization. In fact, they're better than Google Analytics ever was. And so data visualization is a very important component of having a solid analytics tool. And also we are bringing in some pure visualization tools into our list to say, okay, well, maybe you can collect data with an open source tool or something that's inexpensive, even GA4, and then use these data visualization tools capabilities on top of it to get the best looking reports possible. And what's happening is, and even in section nine, when we get into access control, which is, does this give you the ability to choose who gets to access what? Can you give certain reports to certain users? Do you not overwhelm people with data? Can you give somebody just access to the information they need as opposed to your entire system. And so that's really something where you wanna make sure you have access control, especially if you're doing this for the enterprise. And so the cool thing that came up in our research is that there is no one tool that does all these things perfectly. And in fact, Universal Analytics didn't do all these things perfectly either. And so we are now in a time where we might have to build the perfect analytics tool um, or our Google Analytics alternative by stringing together multiple different systems. Now the most common use case of doing this was Google Analytics Universal, combining it with Google Data Studio for better reporting and calling it a day. But obviously there are much more opportunities out there if you want to take your data that you collect and store and you wanna run it through AI, you wanna run it through some beautiful visualizations, then this might be something where you have at least three tools that are going in and making up your ideal system for data analytics, okay? So that depends on really what you're looking for and what you wanna do, but I'm saying that there's gonna be at least two, maybe three tools involved, maybe even as many as five, six, or seven tools if you wanna have the right analytics system, the right system for analyzing your business as a replacement to Universal Analytics. And if you do this, if you can pull that off, you're gonna be light years beyond what Universal Analytics could do anyway, because Universal Analytics is still stuck in a 2005 era with some of the 
data infrastructure choices they have. They have not aligned themselves with things like privacy. They have not aligned themselves with lightweight code and collection. They're not very minimalist. And so if you went with a minimalist approach, you can have a best in class system by stringing together multiple systems. Okay, so let's get to the next section. And the final section, which is about scoring criteria. So how do the tools that we analyzed stack up? He's got a billion toys. So what? And more video games than a teenaged Asian kid. Well, each of the tools that we have researched is scored based on several criteria to rate it as an alternative to universal Google Analytics. And as you can probably imagine, GA was so beloved that it will be hard to find another tool to compare in the minds of users. But with that said, we wanted to create a fair scoring system for comparison. Each tool is scored based on the following criteria. A price, is it really expensive or is it cheap or even free? Installation ease, can you get it up and running really quick with a few pieces of code and a tag management system? Or is it hard like some of the more advanced tools out there? Are there comparable features to Google Analytics? What about privacy? Is this built with privacy first? Do they mention privacy on their website? Are they compliant with things like the GDPR? Or are they a laggard in the past in a world where privacy was not nearly as important? Are there integrations or product linkings? And are there lots of them or are there just a few? Report presentation quality. Are we talking enterprise level data visualization right out of the box or is it something that is pretty ugly? And then finally, how much user expertise is needed? Now, the more complete a tool, the better it will score overall. And in our upcoming videos, you'll see how each tool is scored and where we think it can do better. Okay, as you can see, any alternative to Google Analytics has a lot of catching up to do, or it needs to be a combination of multiple tools working together. Now, if you ask me, the best way to prepare for the future is by incorporating multiple best-in-class tools on top of the groundwork that was laid by Google in Universal Analytics. And using these criteria, I will be exploring tons of Google Analytics alternatives in our upcoming videos. If you're interested in getting a complete list of our analytics alternatives, be sure to subscribe to this channel and click on the bell to see every video as it comes out. And you can also read along on our blog at ddu.ai slash byga. And the reason why that's so important is because we do have 42 tools and we're going to list every single one of them on our datadrivenu.com blog. And again, I wanted to say a special thank you to Ahmad Kanani from Siavach for his inspiration on defining what goes into a great analytics tool. I couldn't have made this video without your input. And for more info on Ahmad, go to www.siavach.com. That is www.siavach.com.